Okay, so I'm over here at the uh, CAD Rail Company, Canadian Railway Company, and I was expecting to see the old uh, MLW Alco switcher there, I believe an XCP locomotive, uh, you know, doing its thing, but uh, instead it looks like it might be this other switcher working or moving around, which is uh, not young either and very smoky. Unless they repainted it. No, 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 they didn't repaint it. It doesn't look like that. Look at the smoke coming out of that thing. Beautiful. Interesting about this company, how they have their, uh, their tracks up these embankments, you know? Interesting. Friggin' windy over here though. Crap. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful scene on this beautiful day. Feels like spring. Shunting them cars. I'm guessing it's a GM. I got a shot lift. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> I wonder if that's an MLW. I think that might be an XCN even. Yeah. And look at what we have down there. AMT locomotive. F40 XM track. I filmed a few of these. And look, not one, not two, but three XAM. Well, no, they're still owned by AMT, I think. I wanted to finish by saying, uh, fuck, I think he's gonna cross the street. Shit. Yeah, they're uh, X Amtrak, X Amtrak locomotive. Ah, uh, there's nothing like vintage power. I would say, regardless of what it is, but you know, sometimes that's irre irrelevant. You know, like a Chevy Citation or a Pinto, don't necessarily qualify. Yeah, it is a nice bourbon, nice color. Be cool if this guy switched tracks and crossed the street here, but um, that's a line that uh, 
that ends down there and that actually eventually hooks up to the uh, CM line out east there. And this guy's just uh, shuffling some cars there. I'll wait a bit, I'm not in a rush. <laughs> 